Well, and uh, just a little tidbit about myself. I'm not sure, Heather, if you know this. I'm actually from Arizona, but I left for several years to go to Bowling Green, Kentucky. So I know what it's like to work at a small TV station. So I got a chance to talk to one of the stars of a reality TV show premiering tonight that is, I guess, extra special to me. Very cool. Well, we're talking about the docu-soap called Breaking Greenville. Take a look. What many of you may not know is that most of your favorite TV anchors and reporters all started at a small town TV station. It's a rite of passage for us, and it comes with its own set of hilarious situations. Well, True TV knew that and decided to let you in on what goes on at two real life rival TV news stations in one of the smallest markets in America, Greenville, Mississippi. Well, Lucy Biggers is one of the reporters at one of of those stations and joins us this morning. Lucy, thank you so much for joining us. Of course, thank you, Tina. Well, Lucy, I got my start, like I said, most people started, you know, a smaller station and I started at Bowling Green, Kentucky, so not very far off uh, from Greenville, Mississippi. <laughs> and we always used to say that behind the scenes, if people could see what goes on around here, they would die. So is that kind of what you thought when <laughs> they were gonna come in and do this show? Yes, I love that you say that because you totally get why it's, it's a great show. Yeah, we totally would say that. And so when it actually started to take shape that this reality show was going to come tape, it was very surreal, but very fun. And we had fun with sort of being ourselves and letting people, you know, say, take a look behind the curtain at what we kind of go through every day. And was it kind of hard to do your regular everyday reporting job and everything like that with like a, a reality crew following you around? You know, it was at first because you're sort of, it's sort of like a hall of mirrors thing where you're like thinking about your audience immediately that's watching you. And then you have this reality crew, which people will see in a few months. And it's sort of like, okay, where are my priorities? Because, you know, you don't, you, you're thinking, well, people are going to be watching this. But, you know, really quickly, I realized just to like ease into the experience and to kind of forget the cameras are there because there's no point <laughs> in worrying and just to go about my job as I normally would. And I think what's kind of unique about this show is that everyone who's featured in it, we already are used to being in front of the camera. So that adjustment period, you know, versus some of the other reality shows that you see on TV, that adjustment period for us to be our natural selves lasted about a day. <laughs> Maybe I should have kept my front up a little bit more so I wouldn't have been messing up so much in front of the crews, but uh, it, it, was an, it was a cool experience. Well, and I definitely think, like you said, we're used to being in front of the camera, but it's a totally different thing when people get to see, you know, what you're like outside, just regular. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of people online have kind of gotten a sneak peek of what's to come for the season, and they see a lot of like uh, machines not working, a lot of things kind of breaking and not going the right way. But that is kind of, that's <laughs> real life, right? Yeah, it really is. You know, at these smaller markets, it's they, it's a shoestring budget and the technology is always changing. So it's really expensive to keep up with these constant changing technologies. Obviously, we wish we could have the state of the art equipment, but, you know, that's just really not the reality. And so you have to really be resourceful. And, you know, it's, it's a lesson in and of itself to make the story work, even when maybe your tripod is like sliding down on one leg or, you know, your camera's not not working or your memory card, you know, bugs out. So there's all those different things on top of, you know, just learning how to be in front of the camera and learning how to do a good interview. You know, quickly in the lower markets, you realize like, gosh, I just am treading water here. <laughs> like, I just need to get this on tape <laughs> before I can worry about having my Barbara Walters interview. <laughs> exactly. Or, or getting back to the station and you realize you, you don't have any sound or, uh, you know, something went wrong. I've and done now that. I did that. <laughs> it, it, it happens to all of us. And I know, uh, I think yeah. the, the top three questions I get asked, because I used to be a morning anchor, like I know you are, I used to get asked, what's, what time do you wake up? And uh, does somebody do your mm -hmm. hair and makeup? So I think a lot of people <laughs> kind of wonder what we do behind the scenes. And, and it'll be quite interesting. Yeah, it will. You know, we definitely do our own hair and makeup. And I think for people who are intrigued by that, those people who ask you those questions, this is the perfect show because, you know, you really get the behind the scenes glimpse and it's so entertaining, endlessly entertaining. So definitely tune in and watch. It's, it's so great. Well, so I have to ask you, Lucy, are you still at the station in Greenville, Mississippi, or have you moved on or do you know where your next step is going to be? I'm kind of in limbo right now. I had a two-year contract, so that wrapped up in the fall. And I'm just sort of taking time. Also, because of the premiere of the show, I, I want to, you know, obviously have time to help with promotions of it and everything like that. But I'm going to be returning back into TV, and I'm actively looking. It's just sort of 
you know, in between at this moment. <laughs> You're in between. Well, I know I have a exactly. special interest in watching the show. I hope all of America does as well. So I want to wish you a lot of luck. <laughs> Thank you, Tina. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Well, Gr Breaking Greenville premieres tomorrow night, 1130 on True TV. You definitely want to check this out and take a peek behind the scenes. The Morning Blend will be right back.